I, I mean, it's a huge dam. Holy doodle. Three or four meters. Okay, I'm looking around. I wonder if it's an ammo box. No, I think it's over by those trees. All right, over by the trees. We found Tupperware in the woods. <laughs> yeah, and what a bushwhack it was. The GPS was something was funny with it, but managed to figure it out and we circled around and got it and calling for bears the whole time because signs say here, watch for wildlife and be careful of bears. Our first geocache found here just south of the crater. That's right, coming up. You don't want to miss it. Just like our failed attempt at an earth cache in Ontario, which you can view here, the uh, road is turned to gravel right after the dam. And if it's gravel all the way to Labrador, this could be a long drive. <laughs> Hadn't expected that. I thought it was paved all the way to Labrador. But we'll see. circles again? Yeah, now I'm at 16. Okay, if I can get, oh, try and go that way, go, go that way. Yeah, I don't know, yeah, that's a good way. Bugs. Hold on. Oh, I'm all full of dust. This is a one and a half, one and a half. <laughs> and we're in the middle of all this scrub on the side of the road. The last logs have all found it and uh, we're not seeing it. We're full of dust. And uh, this is not a one and a half, one and a half. I'm saying it's at least, well, right now it's a five because we can't find it. <laughs> and the terrain is not a one and a half. This is a two, two and a half, at least. Hmm. And DNFs happen, unfortunately, and we're not having a whole lot of luck on this series in the middle of Quebec because uh, they're not as easy as I had thought they would be. A one and a half, one and a half right here. The most obvious spot I'm thinking is right here in this, they say a spruce tree. I don't know if that's a spruce tree, but. <sighs> well, we wish we could bring you a find, but we can't, and uh, I think enough time has been spent by us looking for that one. We're going to log a DNF. And it's not just your ordinary telephone booth. This is an emergency call phone in case you get into trouble at kilometer 272. That's how far we've been up this road so far since Bay Como, I believe. And these uh, booths are situated every 30 or 40 kilometers, maybe every 50, and they give you a little advance notice that you're within five kilometers of one and coming up. So if you get into trouble, because there's nothing out here except geocaches that we can't find. <laughs> some pretty serious danger. You get uh, decapitated by lightning bolts. Holy doodle. I'm getting out of here. Thank goodness for guardrails. <laughs> we finally found one of the caches that we had on our list. I'm so excited. And I'm also excited for this, and we'll explain that coming up.
So this is ground zero for the earth cache on the impact crater, which we just visited. And we're gonna tell you about it. It is so cool, but why they have the ground zero for the earth cache here at the gas station, I'm not really sure, but they make a wonderful vegetable soup, which we just enjoyed. So let's tell you about the impact crater and it's something I've wanted to visit since I first saw it on maps a long, long, long time ago. Approximately 214 million years ago, an estimated 10 kilometer wide hypervelocity meteorite impacted at between 12 and 30 kilometers per second and formed the Manicougan Impact Crater. The resultant 100 kilometer diameter Manicougan Crater is one of the largest impact craters still preserved on the surface of our planet. The Manicougan Multiple Arch Buttress Dam, which we showed earlier, filled the annular moat to its present depth, creating a circular reservoir for hydroelectric power. This circular lake accentuates the contour of the eroded impact ring of the structure. The diameter of the original crater was approximately three times the size of this moat. To log the earth cache, you are required to answer just three of the five questions. So there you go. It's all about the impact crater here in Quebec. Now we're on our way up to Labrador. Back on the road again and the road surface has changed back to pavement. Smooth sailing and no dust. Yeah, and hopefully some geocache is found. Away we go. I think I heard the words got it coming from the bush. So I'm assuming the cache has been found. Hey, there's a cache on a rock, a square rock, a big block. Now this is a one and a half, one and a half. Yep, yeah, I'll agree with you there. This is absolutely more like a one and a half, one and a half, not like the other one. This is Ghost Town Geocache, and it's at the entrance to what a, was a road here. And uh, there used to be a town here called Gagnon, and it's no longer in existence. It's gone and is a ghost town. Back on the road. She's got her signed. Just off the highway, a hundred meters down this little bushy laneway, and I'm gonna tempt fate and not even look at my GPS, and I'm gonna say it's in this pine tree. Cause the cache says, lunch at the pines, and yep, she sees it. We found the cache. Woohoo! We got it, yay! That was a pretty cool one. Drive right up to it, it's a park and grab. Oh, we hope you're enjoying our expedition in Quebec on our way to Labrador. It is uh, quite the uh, mission to get up these roads. And ow, oh, yeah, we do have some bugs. And uh, they're not too bad though. Black flies, one or two mosquitoes here and there. Not so bad. I'll get this one signed up and uh, we'll get back on the road. More adventures to come. This one is not just off the highway. It's down a little, this little back road and it's supposed to be uh, where the old Gagnon airport was for the... Oh, oh what is that? Oh, Whatever, uh, we hit something. <laughs> Ouch. Uh, well, after hitting a few rocks, we've decided just to back out and uh, hopefully uh, we can get out of here and everything's fine because uh, we don't want to chance it. So it's not a DNF, it's a uh, not attempted. That brought back memories of Lingham Lake and that crazy road that took us forever to get down. Yep, but we didn't hit anything and if you haven't seen that one, you can check it out right here. Back to the highway and no rocks.
That geocache was easy to find. While she was sitting in the car waiting, I just went right out. Boom, got it, was right in the tree. And tonight, we're not having a brew, we're having some grapes. Oh, grapes. And we're having our lunch right now in the van. Check this out. I know this isn't geocaching, but this is cooking with Lyric Lass and London Westie. We had made some uh, pork chops ahead of time before we left on our trip. Now we're just uh, frying them up. We were supposed to have this last night for dinner, but we ended up driving too late. And by the time we stopped, it was time to go to bed. So we've got some uh, pre-cooked pork chops in there, and uh, a little bit of cherry tomato, some pepper, uh, some okra. I really like okra. And uh, one mushroom and uh, two pieces of broccoli. <laughs> just to top it all off, uh, we're just adding a little spinach and we'll be good to go. The roads here have changed. They're not gravel, they're not pavement, they're clay. So let's see how we do on this. I do like a minute and a half so we can do it fast. Just standing on the side of the highway looking for rocks in a place full of rocks. Climb around, I don't know, it's about two meters from here. But I'm not seeing anything. I'm gonna turn it over all kinds of rocks and and I hate rocks. What's the difficulty? It's a one. <laughs> <laughs> and the one of the notes says it's sneaky, yet it's an easy find. That's wow, a contradiction geez. in terms. <laughs> I don't know. Oh my gosh, I found it. Yes. Yes! Woohoo! Yeah, that was a one. Well, we got it. Yeah, there it is. Tricky looking rocks, but you gotta know what to look for. Even though I hate looking for rocks. <laughs> <laughs> Check us out next week. We're entering a new province for us. And we'll be getting a new souvenir. Woohoo! Keep watching, there's more caches to be found. And where will geocaching take, take you. you to the rock? Maybe someplace warmer. You found the level of new project! We finally made it all this way! Woohoo! <laughs>